All right, guys, today is a little bit of a special day because Junior is with me and we are going to be doing a review of my buddy Rob's 2019 Jeep Wrangler JL. Now, I put a post up on Instagram and you guys told me you wanted to see me do the review. So today is the day and we are going to be taking this beast on a little test drive and letting you know what I think about the new 2019 Jeep Wrangler JL. So let's get started. isn't going to mess with the audio too bad but it is a windy day and we are going to get through this I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the new features on this new JL versus the old JK of course this thing's been around for a couple of years now you guys kind of probably already know most of it but I'm gonna pick out some of the things that I found and we'll go from there What you don't notice so much is the rake of this windshield is leaned back a little bit further than previous models. Another thing is we've got this little faux vent and an indentation on the side of the fender. You'll also notice there's a body line that goes up the side of the Jeep doors and rear fender that wasn't there before. And as we come around to the front, again, it looks like a Jeep, but what they've done with this particular model is they've updated the headlights and we've got some LEDs built in to the fender. Now, this grille is sloped a little bit differently here and just very subtle differences that they've done to this to make it its own. And if you're a Jeep person, you know exactly what you're looking for. So a little bit different than previous models, Jeep has integrated something unusual about this Jeep. Let me show you. Now, built into the windshield, you'll see there's a little old style Willys Jeep kind of rocking up through the windshield here. You'll also notice the same Jeep stamped on the wheels. As we come into the interior, you'll notice when we start the vehicle, the little cartoon of a Jeep rolling in behind the mileage. Another thing that Jeep has done with the JL is they finally have given it a push button start. This is the remote for that. It does have the flip open switch key so that you can actually get into the vehicle if needed when the battery dies but it has the proximity feature so you can get in unlock the doors from the door handle as well as start with the push button start one thing i will say about this remote is it kind of looks rugged almost like a jerry can wouldn't you say and again this being a sahara model comes with a lot of top of the line features we've got leather seating We've got fully functional controls on the steering wheel for Bluetooth, cruise control, and your menus. Down in the cup holder here, there is a little spot for your key fob to sit when you're not using it. And not only do you have satellite radio, but we've also got GPS as well. The gauge cluster is updated from the previous models. We've got garage door openers built into the rear view mirror here, and an auto dimming rear view mirror. And as everybody knows, we also have the removable hard top on this Jeep. Very simple, very easy for one guy or two for the back piece to take this thing apart and drive with the top down. Everything is very functional, easy to use, and lightweight. And one of the things that I just noticed on this Sahara model 
is one of my favorite features on any vehicle, the heated steering wheel. Now because Jeeps have removable doors, one of the things that they've done, they've taken away some of the switches off the door. Now these ones still have lock and unlock and your mirror controls, but window up and down is still set here in the middle. Plenty of room in the back seat for back seat passengers, as well as cargo space in the rear hatch. Now the biggest thing about these Jeeps has always been the ride quality. When they first came out with the Wrangler Unlimited, the four door, it improved the handling of these things on the road a lot. It stretched out that wheelbase, made them a little less choppy, and, well, it was a huge improvement. These JLs are supposed to be even better. So, I say it's time we hit the road and go for a spin. Now, one of the reasons why we brought Junior along today was in hopes that I could get myself some extra B-roll and improve the production quality of this video. So I didn't pull out of the driveway back there at full speed by no means. However, I didn't notice whether this thing had great power or not. We're gonna stop up here for just a bit and then we're gonna get a feel of how this two liter turbo engine is on this Jeep. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to take off in this thing from a stop and see what kind of power she's got. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. I'll tell you what, for a four cylinder, I don't think you can beat that. Now I don't know how much these things weigh, but I will put it up on the screen right now. It seems to have plenty of power for as heavy as this thing is. Now we talk about the ride quality on this and on the highway, you don't notice much of a difference. We're gonna take it through the streets in town and see what kind of a ride quality it has there. But as it sits right now, I've got absolutely zero complaints on how this thing rides. Now one thing I don't think Jeep will ever be able to get rid of if they've got a removable top is the wind noise. Probably my biggest complaint of any Jeep besides the ride quality in previous models. Let's do something about getting that fixed. Come on Jeep, it's 2019. Now another thing that I'm noticing as I'm driving through these town streets is the ride quality again isn't too bad about what you'd expect to drive from any sort of pickup truck and as we take a little trip down around the back part of the property here you know where we tore up bubbles we'll just see what kind of uh, handling it has over some of these uneven ruts in the road here hmm. not too bad at all The other thing I wanted to mention is when you are driving this vehicle, I can see over a long distance, the only thing I think that would annoy me is that strap for the door. When the door is closed, this strap pokes into the side of my leg. I would find it very annoying after a short drive, let alone a long road trip. So overall, I don't think I could fault Jeep from just making some ever so subtle improvements over this JL from the JK. I wouldn't complain one bit. They've taken a lot of modern technology and implemented it into the Jeep, and they've done so ever so seamlessly. And that color, well, as far as I'm concerned, no excuses there either. If I was all professional and all that sort of stuff, and I wanted to rate this thing on a high quality scale like Doug DeMiro, well, I would have to give this thing a old car auto guy score pretty high. The ride quality is great for a quite capable off-road vehicle, this two liter engine with the turbo is, well, in my opinion, it's gonna be fuel efficient and gives all the power I think that you would ever need on one of these Jeeps. Style-wise, they've improved the style on these things ever so subtly, it's still a Jeep. Although they've added a few new features and a few little subtleties, you can't complain one bit, I still think it's one of the sharpest off-road vehicles out there. 
at the end of the day I'd have to give this thing a thumbs up I didn't know what to expect coming in I will admit I am pleasantly surprised over this Jeep compared to the last one also guys let me know in the comment section down below if you liked this quality of video would you like to see more reviews on some of the stuff that I have I can bring back reviews day Tuesday just let me know in the comment section down below last but not least I want to thank my buddy Rob next door here at Cox Electronics he was so graciously wait a minute I gotta back up a little bit I asked him <laughs> but he had to ask his wife because it's her Jeep if I could do a review on this but I've known them for a long time and they were more than happy to let me do this guys thank you so much for allowing me to test drive your Jeep Wrangler it's much appreciated and I hope that you know how much this means to me and my YouTube channel so as we close out this video guys don't forget the car guy and six fan show is on Thursday evenings at 7 central 8 Eastern and 9 local time straight six fan and I and I'm gonna put his information right up here do an automotive style YouTube channel where we help support other automotive guys you want to talk about cars this is the place to come you want to grow your YouTube channel do the same thing we hope to see you there on Thursday evenings I'm not sure whose channel it's gonna be on this week but nevertheless if it's on mine or theirs if you're subscribed to either one of us you'll get the notification also guys my new Spreadshirt store link is in the description box below it's the first link you can check out the three new designs one's the OG old car auto guy the second one is the focus tees and the third one is the demise of bubbles hope you check them out hope you support the channel in other fashion than just watching these videos keep in mind that there's a 15 percent discount available if you order between now and October the 11th guys stay focused on the windshield not the rear view mirror I love you all God bless we'll see you again real soon